Hello Year 6 and welcome to your literacy video for Monday. Um, our next text for most of us, you've got green pages that look like this, is the Harry Drinkwater's Diary. Okay, if yours doesn't look like that and you haven't got that one in your book, don't worry, I will come to yours after this one. Okay, so Harry Drinkwater was a soldier who fought in World War I between 1914 and 1918. He joined the army at the outbreak of war and served until the war ended. He kept a diary throughout the war, which, was, which has now been published as a book. The text below is an embedded, sorry, an amended extract from his diary. Okay, so this was a diary that he kept while he was in the war. Okay, so you can have a read through that. And then you might see at the bottom, there is a glossary. Okay, because that, that means there might be some words in there that you don't know, and that's absolutely fine, because it might be quite old-fashioned the way it's written. So there's some things in the bottom there to help you. So it says sentry duty means keeping guard. So that's what they did when they were on lookout, they were keeping guard. Blacksmith, blacksmith's bellows is a tool which gives out air. I wouldn't have known that if it didn't say that there. And billeted, which means housed. Okay, so given somewhere to go, somewhere to live. Okay, so let's have a look at some of your questions then. So the first one is a why do you think question. So that tells me that the answer is probably not going to be written in the text. We can't find it and copy it. You've got to use what you think. Okay, so why do you think the trenches are full of water? So I am going to have to read it to find out a bit more information. So in the first, on the first day, on Monday, the, December the 20th, it says the trenches are in a terrible condition. Anything up to four foot deep in mud and water were plastered in mud up to our faces. Our food, cold bacon, bread and jam, is slung together in a sack that hangs from the dripping dugout roof. Consequently, we eat and drink mud. Okay, so why do you think the trenches are full of water? Think about where the trenches are. We did do a little bit of work on trenches when we did our poetry day. Have a think. What, what's going to fill them up with water? Okay, number two then. Why do the soldiers eat and drink mud in line four? Now, I think we know that nobody would choose to eat and drink mud. So they're not doing it because they want to. So make sure you have a look. It says in line four. So make sure you go to line four. And it says, consequently, we eat and drink mud. So why, why do you think it feels like they're eating and drinking mud? Where's it coming from? Okay, think about that. Number three then, what does feverish in line nine mean? So you might not know what feverish means, okay? And that's absolutely fine. We can't expect you to know what every single word in the English language means, but you can use the tr trick of reading around it to try and figure out what it means, okay? So it does say use a dictionary to help you, but let's have a look and see if we can figure it out first, and then you can always use a dictionary to help you after. So on line nine then it says... Worked at a feverish pace, digging and strengthening trenches all through last night. Okay, so it's a feverish pace. So that's something to do with how quick or how slow they're going, isn't it? If it's to do with pace. And then read the rest of the sentence. It sounds like they're working pretty hard to me. So it's going to be something to do with working hard, working quick. Yeah, so something to do with that, but then you can always have a look in a dictionary to help you. You could always go on dictionary.com if you haven't got an actual dictionary at home. Okay, so it says, what does this word tell you about how the soldiers worked? So it says, digging and strengthening trenches all through last night. So if they were working all through the night, how does that tell you how they are working? Okay, so use that to help you. Number four then, why do you think Harry feels half dead in line 12 okay so have a look then you might need to read that whole paragraph again think about how he's feeling think about what he's been doing on that day and then that might help you answer to why he feels like he's half dead because he's not really half dead he just feels like he is okay okay so i think you're going to be absolutely fine with the rest of them the last one why do you think that working in the mines was an awful strain mentally. So you're going to have to use a few different things from that text. So it, it says that on line 25, but you might have to use some evidence from the rest of the text that helps you answer that question. Okay, 
So remember, if a question is a two mark question, so question three, question six and question seven, then you're probably going to need a little bit more detail on those ones. Okay, on the one mark, you just need one point to answer that question, but two marks, a little bit more detail, just to make you sure that you get both marks. Okay. Okay, so if your book then looks like this one and it's orange, okay, then you have got to look at the pictures and tick the picture which finishes each story. So the page is split in half. So you've just got to look at these ones for the first part. So you've got to look really carefully at what's happening in each picture. So in this first one, he's yawning. He maybe looks like he's about to go to bed or he's just got up maybe. Okay, so if he's just got up, then he's brushing his teeth. What do you think could happen next? Okay, so have a look and think about what could happen next in that little story. And then same for the bottom one. So look what she's doing. She's cutting out. Then it looks like she's sorting them. And then have a think what might happen next in that little story. Okay. If your book looks like this one and it's blue, your next text is called Seasons. Okay, so you've got a little bit of writing on spring, summer, autumn and winter. So the different seasons of the year. Okay, and you're, you've got three different questions to answer. So your first one says, in which season do trees start to lose their leaves? So you're going to have to have a little read of each of these little bits of information and find the answer to that question. Okay, what does the word hibernation mean? So like I said in the first text, we don't expect you to know what every single word means. So that's fine if you don't know what that means. But if you have a read, it should tell you. So let's have a look then. So in winter, it'll tell you, it tells you something. I don't want to give you the answer. It tells you something. And then after it says, this is called hibernation. So find that and you'll learn what hibernation means. And then the bottom one, the answer is not going to be in the text for that one because you've got to use what you think for this one. So it says, which is your favourite season and why? Okay, so there's no wrong answer for that one. It can be any of the seasons. You've just got to make sure you give a reason why. Okay, to back up your choice. Okay, if you've got any questions at all about any of the literacy texts, please don't hesitate to give us an email on year underscore six at sandandprimary.org.uk. And also don't forget to send us some pictures of your works. We love to see what you've been up to and we love to send raffle tickets. Okay.